what is up everybody it's your boy Zani the greatest and welcome back to another youtube video leave a like on this video subscribe if you are new and we have some new information on the dlc pack 16 that's dropping sometime this spring now i know what i said about my dlc pack predictions we're still it looks to be like we're on a track record for it to be coming in may i don't think that the april mid april thing is going to happen anymore i i was having high hopes that i thought you know it would Maybe at that like April twenty fifth or thirtieth is where I thought it would fall, but it it doesn't seem likely. So I'm now changing that to it's gonna be like a May, like a solid May. I don't think they're gonna wait till June. I really hope they don't wait till June. But for my for my you know conscience, I'm going to go ahead and aim for a May release date. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and look at these. Um, DLC 16, you know, information this is not leaks or anything. These are for official news from the Dragon Ball website. I'm going to link that down below. You guys can check it out and let's get right on into this. So first of all, we have the potential release or potential unleash or potential awakening for Piccolo. We all know this was coming. This is going to be one of the most uh, used, I think, besides Orange Piccolo. Um, it's going to be a, a very, very, very uh, versatile uh, character when it comes to Piccolo is going to up his game tremendously because you know DLC or Xenoverse 2 in fact has not been uh how do you say favoring Namekians Namekki in, in particular and then not really favoring Piccolo because Piccolo only has one form this entire game so there's a new appearance of Piccolo who fought fiercely with Gamma 2 in the movie DB Super Superhero I'm not you know Dragon Ball Superhero we know we know the name <laughs> With the number of hands and a wide range of attacks using the stretch arm, I'm good at fighting with a sense of speed. So it looks like this character is going to look like this version of Piccolo is going to be a faster. He's going to be faster. He's going to be fighting quicker. So his speed is going to be more of a is going to be more of a talent than his strength in this one. Uh, so I think this this one is going to probably have a Z soul or a Super Soul. They might give you a Super Soul with this character that increases your speed or something like that. That's one, that's one of my predictions. It seems likely this would be. Uh, like a speed type um, health like he would have more health and speed uh, more so like a, a defense type thing as we've seen in the fight with Gamma 2 he didn't really take offense until he turned orange piccolo which I feel that one would have like a big impact on his attack and his movement might be slowed down so that's just my little tidbit so as you can see more info on his ultimate attacks and special moves will be available on o April sorry not October April 21st and that's not too long from now so with this being said they are literally just trickling in beasts like I, I i don't get what they're milking this for but obviously they're trying to give us everything before we even get to beast and so let's see what else they have we have some new parallel quests that are going to be added to the dlc superhero movie and finding the missing bread that seems like it's going to be a very tedious one um Parallel quest of the movie DB Super Superhero. You can join the change history that is different from the main movie, where Game One and Game Two and Piccolo are active. Hmm. There are four types of parallel quests. So there, is, there are four four types of parallel quests. I'm I'm interested to see how much like really how many parallel quests is going to be added. Um, and the last thing here it says is the last extra mission has been added. Okay, oh, we the dialogue we we discussed this is what this is the, the new story mission so looks looks like they're just about ready these seems like the screen they seem like screenshots from the actual game it looks like they're just it's like i can feel like they're simmering the pot like they're just about cooking and then they're gonna reveal beast to us on launch trailer i'm telling you guys that's my final prediction once this i believe the launch trailer is gonna drop within another two to three weeks all right, so that's so if anything the beginning of may is when i would expect a launch trailer if not we have to you know honestly keep waiting but i just i don't really don't see this going any further than may so with that being said when we get that launch trailer we're getting beast and i think they're gonna just drop everything with that and he's just gonna be the last piece of everything the story missions look like the fact that they're putting it in they said it's already been added it's already been you know established it looks like the dialogue and stuff that we saw earlier is already in the game. They probably just have to finish it up and like, you know, because the hardest thing to do is the visuals. So um, that is all they had today for us. And this is the 14th. And um, I know you guys, if you guys follow or watch 
slow plays, he did point this out that um, on the 14th of usually, usually on the 14th, I don't, don't want to stir up his <laughs> pot of uh, predictions, but the, usually the 14th is when they drop things, and he's been pretty accurate on that. So I just want to pass that along to anybody who doesn't know who that is or watch him. Definitely the check on like the 14th. The 14th of May is is what I'm going to be checking back. Um, if it be, if it comes before then, of, of, of course. But the 14th of May is when I, you know, we have the the V jump scans on the 21st. Then the 14th of May doesn't come too long after that. So I would expect some um, info or something on that next day. Now again, I don't take his word for it. Don't take my word for it. But usually, as you can see, the 14th they kind of give some information. Um, don't know what it is about that day, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video This is just some information covering the um, all the info and all that good stuff I've decided to I didn't feel like taking screenshots and stuff and putting it in the timeline So here you are scrolling through and all that good stuff Leave a like on this video subscribe if you are new and get on some more Xenoverse 2 content and DLC pack predictions Peace